Uh, if you heard the news today, if you're a Halo fan, Xbox fan, Xbox head, Halo head, if you if you waiting for that that launch, got some bad news for you, Chief. Not that Chief, but but for you guys, well, kind of for that Chief too. Well, Halo Infinite been delayed, and now we got to talk about it. So let's get started. Kill the music. What's going on folks, Demi Guy Reviews here. And if you haven't heard the news, haven't seen the news, haven't caught the news on your favorite social media platform through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or your favorite gaming journalistic website, level1gaming.com, then you should know today is probably one of the greatest and harshest delays to come. If you're a Halo head, Xbox fan, like I was saying in the intro, Halo Infinite has been delayed. So I come to you today with three questions that we need to ask. What does this mean for Halo? What does this mean for the Series X launch? And should we be worried about this delay? Let's get started with the first question. What does this mean for Halo? What does this mean for Halo? It, 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 it means a lot, if we're gonna be honest. When I watched the Xbox Game Showcase back in July, I seen the Halo Infinite demo. I was there for the Halo Infinite demo. I was excited for a multitude of reasons. For one, the gunplay looked good. The movement looked good. I'm excited for the grappling hook and action because it reminds me of the meat hook from Doom. I, I heard Octane's voice from Apex as the uh, the pilot that was with Chief, and it was actually kind of exciting as an Apex player. But I have to be real. I have to be honest. I have to be truthful. Halo Infinite didn't really look next gen it's still sharing an ecosystem with the xbox one xbox one s xbox one x and not really being built for the next gen console that's coming in november and i have to be honest while i was impressed with certain little things and technical aspects and how much of the game that they're improving and opening up the world and trying to give you much more of the game to build and lord and all of that type of stuff visually the game looked current gen and this is me being an Xbox fan, huge Halo fan. Check, check the achievements, check the credit score. It didn't look next gen. It looked pretty current gen. Like, this is the big flagship title. This is the five year work that we've been seeing, or we've been hearing about, we've been rumored about, we've been told about how they had to go from one engine to another to rebuild and, 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 and get this game right. But it didn't look next gen. And from that, not being next gen or not feeling and not looking next gen that game halo infinite had a meme come about it with craig the boot which is probably some of the most funniest shit possible and if you didn't laugh at that or you took it super serious i want to say but that craig the brute hilarious hilarious the comedy that came from that just because it didn't look like stuff was next gen the demo that they showed at, at the xbox game showcase it like it has some issues. We've seen some pop in. We've seen some lighting effects go wrong because it's weird when your demo doesn't look great, but the trailer that comes out after the demo shows much more, much better progress and, and better lighting and better effects happening on screen. So that was one of my issues I had right there. Halo Infinite doesn't look next gen. It may feel next gen in terms of gameplay and movement and etc. But it doesn't look next gen. It doesn't look like it's a a a a, a Series X, like like it's taking advantage of the hardware and the power and stuff like that. Come to find out in the rumor that it is a, a PC that they were playing the demo on, but that's a different story for a different subject for a different time. But graphically, it just didn't look like it was up to par. The gameplay could be phenomenal, but I want this to feel all the way next gen. It hit me with every bit of the package, not just here's something here, here's something there. Here's a little bit of next gen here, here's a little bit of next gen there. Give me the entire thing in the entire package show me stuff that's supposed to be running on the series x show me what show me your technology and show me what this game is supposed to be if this was supposed to be launching with the series x not only that not only did we get the graphics but we also learned that a couple of weeks later the halo infinite multiplayer is going free to play which in my book is really good the multiplayer sells itself but now we have to ask the question of why is it going free to play why is these things happening why is this currently going on and I feel like they're trying to reach a core audience of not only just the, the, the Halo players, 
but they're trying to take some of the VR players and some of the other players that play certain games on Xbox and PC, which is cool. I have no problem with that. I just want this to be fully supported and fully loved as it should be, as it should be taken care of, as it should be appreciated, as things should be great within that multiplayer that they do the proper things to support it. Don't drop it, don't let it die, build it, uplift it, and keep it going. Now, another thing I was hearing was like cause and concern in 343, how people felt like they weren't getting appreciated, how it was some, some arguments and stuff going on in the background. That could be another reason why this game got delayed, if we're being honest. <clears throat> I've been throwing everybody a bone because of COVID, because of the, the pandemic and stuff that's been going on. But I've been hearing a lot about what's been going on and how people have been treated, how there's multiple teams. Look, man, let's get this, let's get this, let's get this going. Don't don't start pressing people for the crunch. Don't start pressing people on, on time and stuff like that. Especially if you guys know that the game is already. From what I've been hearing, Halo Infinite has like a like a thousand people on deck trying to take care of this game. And if that's the case, let's get this ball rolling and let's get this ball going to make an impressive game. How do I feel about the delay? I feel like it's necessary because what they shown us at the Xbox Game Showcase, it looked solid, didn't look great, didn't look mind blowing, but it looked solid like they had the blueprint of potential. However, there's still a few things in the woodwork that they need to take care of. Now I wanna see what the multiplayer looks like. I wanna see how 343 gets over these hurdles and issues. And then we can come together and start talking about Halo and seeing the full potential that it needs to be shown with the Series X. Now let's talk about another thing. What does this mean for the Series X launch? Let's talk. Now another question, another big question is, what does this mean for the Series X launch now? Because Halo is supposed to be that game that launched with the Series X. And another tweet that came out from Aaron Greenberg is how they're going back four console generations with backwards compatible games. And yes, you're going to be having Game Pass support Xbox Series X and, and, and you're going to have stuff on PC for sure. But what launches with your brand new console that comes out in November? Now, I'm not going to do this console war, fanboyish stuff type stuff, but in November, if it is November for PlayStation 5, in November, you have Miles Morales and Godfall coming with... Uh, with PlayStation 5. And if we're being honest, not having anything there set in place outside of just the multi-plats does kind of kind of shake the table a little bit. Now, I'm not going to get the gratitude everywhere because we did have a PlayStation 4 launch with Resogun, DC Universe, and a couple other free-to-play games. But Xbox needs something. It needs something. It has to have something going down the line to be supported with, with, this, with this console. Having a console launch and not having things behind it kind of kind of looks looks a bit spooky in the light. Looks a bit spooky because it means that nobody's going to go out and immediately buy your console. I know a lot of people that's going to go out and buy that PS5 just for Spider-Man. Because Spider-Man is, is a big thing. One of my favorite heroes personally. But not having anything with the console. Yes, we're going to have Game Pass. Yes, you're going to have backwards compatible stuff. But that isn't really like a, a, a pusher. That isn't a selling point. That isn't some, something that's going to pull people in and real people to go get it. You have your console loyalists. You have your fanboys that use it for cannon fodder. You have the people that just don't care and really just play like multi-plats on, the, on these systems. But why would that stop them from getting a PS5? That's the important question. What launches now with the Series X? Something has to be pushed up. Something has to... Something has to come with it. It's not going to kill interest in the console, but it will take away the dynamic of why people should buy it. Because people don't have a true reason, unless you want an Xbox specifically, or you just care for Game Pass like that, or you don't want to build a PC. Nobody really has that true reason of getting a Series yes. X. There's no true reason as of right now, unless you're either into, into Game Pass, you're, you're into Xbox and want it for the multi or you're just into Xbox and want to use it for console war fodder, or really getting a Series X. Yeah, you can be interested in, not, interested in all, in, in just Xbox and not even have to fit any of those criteria. I'm getting a Series X because I want a Series X. I'm getting a PS5 because I want a PS5, but I don't want to miss out any, on any exclusives that they drop down the line. If I get a Series X, I want to pro I'm probably gonna use it as my, as my Game Pass slash, multi-platform machine that's just me being honest i enjoy what xbox has at stake i enjoy what xbox is going to do with the series x in the future but as of right now for the launch 
It's up in the air. It's a lot that that that, that has you asking questions, that, that has you for concern. And yes, there will be some multiplats that Xbox Series X will be having on the forefront, like AC Valhalla, more than likely Cyberpunk, if it doesn't get delayed for the 90th time, and 2K and whatever else that comes out around November, December time. But as of right now, there isn't that critical game that launches with the Series X, and that's an issue. And Xbox needs to figure something out. Phil Spencer needs to figure something out because Halo was supposed to be that game. Now they're lacking it. Now they're missing it. What's next? What's going to take that position? What's going to fill the shoes now that Halo Infinite has been delayed and has been missing? And which just prompts me for my final question on the screen that you seen on the screen prior. Should we be worried? Should we as Xbox fans be worried about the current state of Xbox going into next gen for series x should we be worried i've seen articles saying phil spencer was pretty happy after the ps5 showcase where he had some heat in the pipe for for you know the xbox game showcase i'm paraphrasing here by the way if you, if you didn't know but he had some heat in the pipe and and how xbox fans as of recent have been getting shafted in in terms of, of pc players on xbox live and how we've been getting scraps and Here's some stuff on Game Pass, not knocking Game Pass because Game Pass has had some heat, it's had some hitters, but Xbox fans as a recent console related have been getting shafted. Here's some here's some scraps, you know, I see you guys have been, been doing stuff and you've been asking for some stuff, so we'll throw something your way to keep you quiet for a little bit. But as a recent, should we be worried as Xbox fans? And I have to say, it's, start, it's, it's looking spooky. Now, next gen hasn't started yet. Next gen won't start till November when the consoles launch. But once this new generation comes up, I am going to be honest, this generation for Xbox has lacked. It has it has stunk. It, it, it wasn't great. It wasn't amazing. There was some in-between hitters. There was some stuff that was like, oh man, this is pretty cool. But of course, it either went multi-platform like Cuphead or it's, we're seeing other stuff go to other platforms and questions of that questions of that nature and it's just like what's going on here what's going on here we have we have we have some games that just just, just hit then it goes away we have other stuff that's capable of, 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 of shaking the game but they don't let it cook too long or they force it out or here's just games as a service that doesn't need to be a service when they can't make up their mind of exactly what they want to do and I, I can't watch that be repeated this gen, especially after buying these studios and getting this, this talent. If you're not going to attempt to put something out there that's amazing and not just a service game because you have Game Pass now and now you're going to stop trying or now you're going to stop putting efforts out there or now you're going to try to be different or, or shake something up. Something has to be done. Something has to be changed. Something has to be done. Something has to be changed. Something unique has to happen. Xbox has got to get serious this, next, this upcoming gen. Show me why you have those 14 studios. Show me what you're cooking up in the process. Don't make games as a service, games as a service, games as a service. Oh, here's, here's, here's this RPG to keep you quiet. Here's this RPG, this shooter, this single player title. Show me what you got cooking up. Show me what you got in the first party. Show me what you got in the third party. Show me what you have capable. Because if this is a repeat of this gen, and I gotta be honest, I bought my Xbox One this gen. Well, this gen. I bought it first, and, I, and, I, and it, it, was, it was promise and potential. Then it just delayed. Gone, 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 gone. Scale down. Phantom Dust. Fable Legends. If it's a repeat of the same thing, I gotta be honest, Xbox fan or not, looking real spooky. Looking real spooky. Looking real, real spooky. So, that being said, should we be concerned or not? Should we be concerned about the Halo Infinite delay? Will it add more polish? Will it add more steam behind it? Will it make it actually next gen? If I was in Xbox's shoes, cut cut the prior consoles out we're launching with series x you want you want to play halo infinite come get the series x 
You wanna play Halo Infinite multiplayer? Come get the Series X, or if you got that PC, there you go. If that's a and and, and that that whole PC route's a different a different topic for a different video for a different day. But I got some I got some I got some gripes about that too personally, but that's a different video for a different day. But should we be worried? How do you guys feel about the Halo Infinite delay? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Halo Infinite? How do you feel that we should be worried? How do you feel about the Series X not launching with a, a, a major title? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below and share your thoughts with me and let me know. Let's keep it respectful. Let's keep it civil. Let's keep the fanboy out the paint. Let's just let's just drop our thoughts and have some intellectual conversation, folks. This is Demi Guy Reviews. Check out my prior videos, my prior reviews on The Last of Us Part 2, Coffee Talk. But check out my thoughts on the Crossfire X Beta. And I will have more videos coming out this week from Rogue Company and a couple others. And I'll see you guys real, real soon in the next couple of videos. I didn't want to make this video too long. You may see some brief pauses and stops. That's because, you know, work and whatever. But share your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. And let me know what you think of the Halo Infinite delay of Xbox Series X not launching with anything. Share your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe, that notification bell icon, and I'll see you guys real, real soon. Until next time, until the next video, guys, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. Looking like a GG. And I'm out.